Welcome back to Market Beat. Thanks for tuning in. All right, guys, you asked for it. So here it is. Let's talk some more about Mullen Automotive. Mullen is among the hottest penny stocks out there right now, and the trade volumes on any given day is insane to say the least. People are moving in and out of the stock, and it's gained a lot of attention on Market Beat, and as you can imagine, everywhere else. Today, I'm welcoming back Market Beat contributor Thomas Hughes. Thomas will share some potential news coming out about the stock and discuss other catalysts in the pipeline that will make Mullen the short squeeze everyone is waiting for. Welcome back, Thomas. How are you doing today? I'm great, Lacey. Thanks for having me. How are you today? Good. All right, Thomas, I've had conversations with our customer service team here, and it sounds like we are getting a lot of feedback. People are wanting to know more and more. There's just no quenching the thirst for knowledge of the stock. We've talked about Mullen before, and you had told me about some catalysts that were about to happen. Any update on the news with those? Yes, Lacey. Uh, the first of those catalysts will probably occur before this video is released. We're filming on Thursday. The, uh, the release of the postponed annual filing is due on Friday. You know, the bears may say the postponement is a bad sign, and it might be. The company may be trying to hide some bad news. A bull might say CEO David Mishery postponed the release on purpose. Maybe he has some good news he wants to share or something that will add some positive momentum to the story. You know, the string of news releases over the past few months has been very bullish. And there is or has been a rumor that Mr. Mishery was trying to spark a short squeeze on his own. And so holding back on some on some positive information would certainly fit in line with that story. So what might happen if the company doesn't file tomorrow, though? Well, if it doesn't file tomorrow, there are a, kind of a string of things that could happen. One, the company would be at uh, great risk for, for delisting. It has to file its reports to be in compliance with NASDAQ. But the shares might also fall depending on uh, what other news comes out. Uh, the bears would take another postponement as a clear sign of some bad news, and they would, I'm sure, pile into the stock. So your latest market beat article um, is titled Mullen Automotive Volume Price Action Point to Short Squeeze, which I will link that down in the comments below. Um, the price volume and volatility on some days has been crazy, like I mentioned before, but isn't that what you sign up for when you trade petty stocks? What can you tell me about that? Yes, you do sign up for some volatility with penny stocks. One thing about penny stocks is they don't have the reporting requirements as other companies do. As we just mentioned, uh, Mullen just postponed their, their filing. And uh, even when they do file, they might not give the depth of information that some other companies might give. So that can provide some volatility. Penny stocks also tend to have uh, large numbers, uh, large share counts and cheap prices, which makes it easy for big block trades to go through. And that can spark volatility as well. What I'm seeing in the charts right now, though, is that um, activity is heating up but I think the bears might be getting nervous. Let me pull up my chart and we'll talk about that for a minute. Perfect. Right, so you can see here, we talked about before, there's a bottom that's formed here, it's retested here, you have a higher support level here, and now the market's moving up and it's moving steadily higher on very high volume, which means the bulls are piling in and the shorts are trying to sell, but the bulls are winning. And I think this is because the bears are scared that the news might be good. If good news comes out and the share prices pop, a short seller who's in it at 40 cents and has to buy out at 60 cents is going to make more than a 100% loss on their position. And that is bad news. So the short interest remains high and it is listed at 10 to 44%, depending on the website and how the data is calculated. The takeaway from this data is that a lot of the bearish volume is being done by dark pools and off exchange trading. Can you explain a little bit um, what exactly is a dark pool for some of us that may not know? Well, honestly, to say it out loud, it sounds pretty illegal, a dark pool, because what it is is a place where large money investors are able to make trades outside of the public purview. The thing about public markets is that trades are supposed to be visible for everyone so we know where the shares are going. A big trader who wants to buy you know, $5 million, $10 million, $20 million of stock could easily move the market with a single trade and make the price go up to a point where they can't afford it anymore. So the dark pool allows those big traders to make giant trades without moving the market. It's an advantage for them and a disadvantage for everybody else. Hmm. So what does it mean when price and volume spikes like that? 
Well, right now, what it means is uh, one activity is heating up, but there are more bulls than bears. The bulls are trying to buy the stock. There aren't enough shares at the lower price levels for them to buy, so they're pushing the price up till they reach a new level where the bears are willing to sell again. And right now, the volume is pushing the price up, and it's keep going up. So as an investor, even a trader, what news would you like to hear from Mullen? I would like to hear the company say that it has the money to produce cars. The dominoes are all in place for this story to unfold and for Mullen to turn into the next Tesla. But like so many other EV startups, its plans could easily be curtailed by a lack of capital. If they were to tell us that they had the money to begin making cars, I think the share prices will skyrocket. If I remember right, there will be a vote on a reverse stock split at the shareholder meeting, correct? That is correct. Uh, this is an important vote because it has a couple of uh, repercussions for the stock. Uh, the first would be if they enacted the reverse split, it would help get the share prices up above a dollar, and they need to, to do that to remain compliant with NASDAQ. The other thing is that it will take a lot of shares out of the open market and put them back in the company's coffers and make them reavailable for sale. So the company would then have more shares available for sale, which you could use to raise capital. And that's important because I believe that the company has 1.7 billion shares allowed, and there's about 1.65 billion shares out, which means there's only 0.05 billion shares available for sale, which may not provide enough capital for the company to produce cars. All right. I think that's all the time we have for today, Thomas. Really great insights you've shared with us. Listen up. If you think you might be needing a new investment strategy for the new year, MarketBeat has you covered. With the latest stock market updates, tools, and analysis, you'll have everything you need to make informed investment decisions. Learn more and try MarketBeat All Access for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll never miss a beat. Um, thanks again, Thomas. We'll chat at you later. Thanks, Lacey. See you next time. Oh,